Let's see how to work with the granular solver in RioFlow for Cinema 4D. When we want to fill geometries with fluids, we have to keep in mind that the geometry must be closed. This way we are going to create a fill emitter to fill the castle with geometry particles. Inside the fluid node we have the option to change the type of solver that we want to use. We choose granular. We are going to decrease the resolution value. And we connect the geometry in the emitter to generate particles within the geometry volume. If we hide the geometry, we can see that the particles have been generated correctly. We are going to create a gravity demon. When there is only one fluid in the scene and we add a demon, this fluid will be automatically linked to the demon. We can see that the geometry is not colliding with the fluid. To do the collision, we need to select the geometry and add a collision tag inside the real flow tags. When simulating now, we can see that the particles are colliding with the cube geometry. To avoid this particle explosion, select the emitter to indicate that the collision objects will behave like mass when generating particles. To avoid the generation of particles inside that geometry, we are going to increase the particle size in the viewport within the display options in the fluid. When we want to change how the particles are colliding with the geometry, we need to modify the collision parameters inside the collider tag. This way we can increase the geometry friction with the particles or also how they bounce when colliding with the geometry. If we want to change the behavior of the granular particles, we have to do it in the fluid node. The static friction parameter allows us to create structures like sand piles. So high values in this parameter will create a stacking of the granular particles and with the friction option we modify the friction between these particles. With the cohesion option we are adding the possibility to have groups of particles connected when simulating. We are going to generate a new object, a platonic for example. And what are we going to do is drag the platonic to the fluid node. This way we are creating an instance of the platonic geometry per particle. that if we simulate now, painting that geometry in the viewport will make the simulation slow down. We are going to select the scene node and indicate that we want to use the GPU to speed up the simulation. When we are simulating, the simulation is not stored in our computer yet. To do that, we need to select the scene mode and indicate that we want to cache the simulation. The simulation will be stored in the selected cache folder. Once the simulation is cached, we can see the result by pressing the play button. Regardless of whether the simulation is cached or not, displaying the geometry of a particle in the viewport would slow down the visualization of the simulation. If we want to continue modifying parameters and simulating, we must disable the cache option. With the compaction parameter, we make the granular particles have more friction between them, generating blocks when the granular is breaking. As we said before, adding stacking will generate structures like sand piles. When we increase the steps, we are also adding more tension between particles, so they won't fall down so quickly. Increasing the value of damping will also help to make the particles more stable. 
If we increase the value, it will add viscosity to the granular. 